How far can we get the pennies to stretch in a clothing budget? Well, that's something I've decided to research. So here on my channel, I'm going to start a new series called the £100 Challenge. I will be spending roughly £100 on a little haul using my favourite outlet stores and we're going to see how far the pennies will stretch. In today's video, we're starting out at Boohoo. Boohoo is one of my absolute favourite companies. I love the fact that they have such a huge plus size section so you can really, really play with fashion. First of all, I should say hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marlene and I am a personal stylist. I love all things plus size fashion and here on my channel, I really focus on those of us who have the apple shape, who have the bigger belly. But a little £100 challenge haul from Boohoo. Let's get stuck into it. The object of this £100 challenge, as I said earlier on, is to see how far I can stretch my pennies. I really want to see how many pieces, maybe even how many outfits, but also what kind of quality can I get for £100. We're starting off at my favourite outlets, hence why we're starting with Boohoo today. But I will work my way through the outlets that I love, the shops that I love going to, simply because I want to see what is actually possible to achieve. Before I show you the pieces, I think we just need to talk about money. I spent for this challenge £97.66. That include a $5.99 in delivery. I also did use an extra coupon code. They already have the sale on, they normally have the 40% sale on the website anyway, but I did manage to find a coupon code as well online. I have like an extension on my computer shopping extension thing. And with that, I saved an additional 20%. So the price that I have paid is with the extra discount code as well, just so you are aware. But for the five pieces with delivery, I have spent 97 pound and 66 pence. It has been a moment since I last even looked at a blazer, but when I saw this one, I had to pop it straight into the basket. Why? Because it's chocolate brown. Plain and simple blazer with no lapel on it, but we just have the buttons going down. We only got four pockets. We do have a couple of panels on the back. It's a little bit hard to see because it needs a good iron, but they are there nevertheless. The full long sleeve, and of course, it is fully lined. It is the color of this blazer that I fell in love with. I love everything in chocolate brown. I have a lot of pieces that work with a chocolate brown. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. And best of all, it comes with matching trousers. They are sold separately, but I had to have both pieces. This one is 95% polyester with 5% elastanin. And there is a little bit of give to the material, but the lining on the inside is 100% polyester and there's no give in that. So it's kind of pointless, have, pointless having it in the fabric. Nevertheless, let me just show you the trousers and then we can try it on. The trousers, the same color and the same material with the 95% polyester and the 5% elastane. You can see there's a little bit of give to it. Not a lot of stretch, but there's a little bit. These ones are more of a dress style of a pair of trousers, which I absolutely love. We do have a function belt loops. I don't think we have pockets, do we? No, we have sadly no pockets, but I'm sure I'll survive. On the back, they are just plain. I just love the color of these though. Oh, I should say I got both pieces. Actually, I think I got everything in today's haul in a size 22. Well, let's jump into it and let's see if it works. The color of this suit is absolutely sublime. However, the fit sadly is not amazing on me. First of all, the jacket is very, very long. I could live with that. However, it's too wide in the shoulders for me and it just kind of makes me look very broad. Those panels that was cut into the back does make it sit very, very nice on my waist. And it does fit me perfect in the waist as well and the rest of it. It's simply just in the shoulders. I think it's a little bit on the wide side and make me look very, very wide, which I don't like. The sleeves are really, really good length. If you're one of my tall girl, maybe this one could work for you. Also because it does have the length on it. Obviously I roll up the sleeves, so this is a three rolls, just so you are aware. Now the trousers, they do fit me and they actually fit me really, really well. However, they are extremely high-waisted. They do have a good fit. They do skim beautifully over the belly. Little bit of extra fabric below the booty, but as you know, I don't have much of a booty, so there's not much to fill in there. But it's the fact that they are so high-waisted. Lengthwise, they're absolutely perfect on me. I thought they were going to be very long, but they're perfect. They're just that much too high-waisted. I really need that waistband to go down into my natural waist. So somewhere in here is where I would need the trousers and they would have been perfect. But because I don't have the longest of a torso, this just doesn't work. Mm. 
I'm really bummed. I don't think I could take the jacket in a smaller size either because it is simply just in the shoulders that it's too wide where I think it fits really well in the rest. So I don't even think ordering down a size would help, but I love the color. I'm really bummed because this would have been a perfect addition to my wardrobe, but it's not meant to be. If I'm not wow when I put it on, it doesn't stay, so this has to go back. Coming into winter time, layering pieces are really, really necessary, especially in my wardrobe. And I am absolutely hooked on a fine knit. So when I found this one, I thought I'd have to try it. I love the little puffy sleeve on it. It's a plain and simple black little t-shirt, just a straight sleeve, a straight top. I just love the neckline on it, which is a little bit square with a little bit of a puff in the sleeve. It is, however, a fine knit, which I absolutely love. I forgot to check the ingredients because you know me, I normally do. But I would say we got 95% polyester and 5% elastane and this is tons stretchy. This one is just a perfect layering piece and especially for us apple shapes as well because we can use the layers to hide the tummy while still defining the waist. Let's jump into it and see if it works. This top is adorable and it fits me perfect. It does sit snug to the body but that's what I wanted for because I intended it as a layering piece. So as you can tell it does sit fully snug. It does show off the curves but it will be a perfect layering piece. I love the little bit of puff that's in the shoulders, but I also love the fact that it's not so much that if I was to have a jacket or something like that over that it would sit and create bulk underneath. It's just a little added detail, but this sits amazing on my body. It really shows off my body to perfection. Look, it even looks like I have a waist. I'm loving this. I do love the fine knit of it. It's really soft. The quality is really, really nice. Am I keeping it? I'm not 100% sure, but if for one reason or one reason only is, I actually have one that is very, very similar to it. So I don't kind of need two, if that makes sense. But this one does have a great fit. So oh, we'll see, we'll see. I am searching high and low for some sweater dresses at the moment. And I found this one. Now I know it looks more like a cardigan, but it is actually fully closed though. Those are just a full button, so they don't open. But I just love this. Once again, it is the fine knit. This one is a mixture of viscose with a polyamide in it. And it does have a little tie belt around as well. This one is in a size 22 slash 24. And I purposely went for that size because I think the other one was a 2022. But I purposely wanted to size up because it is like a bodycon kind of thing. This one with, with a long coat and a pair of long boots, I'm envisioning it is going to look fantastic. I really love it. Let's jump into it and see if it works. I didn't immediately go, wow, the minute I put this dress on, but I'll tell you why. It's not because I don't like the dress or the fit of it. It is because my eyes, my mind immediately jumped straight to my belly. How much belly can you see? And because there's a little bit of a visible belly line, my mind immediately goes towards the negative track. I've been standing here for a few minutes and just kind of looking in the mirror, telling myself that it is okay to show my belly. It is okay that people can see that I have a belly because I'm an apple shape. It's who I am. It's part of who I am. It's just the way it is. And it's okay. It is a bodycon. It does show the belly. It does sit tight to the body. But it is absolutely stunning. And it does have a great fit. It does sit snug to the body as a bodycon is meant to. But this is really, really beautiful. Now, I can imagine this with a pair of long boots equally as well as with a pair of heels. I love the neckline of it because it has that V, which is gorgeous, especially on us apples because many of us have the large bust. I really love it now that I've kind of had it on for a few moments. Am I keeping it? I don't know. That's being honest with you. I really do love it, but will I actually wear it? That's what it comes down to. So I'm going to do my trick like I normally always do. I will try and create a couple of outfits with it and see if I fall in love with it completely then. If not, then it goes back. That's just how it is. The last piece I got in my 100 pound challenge for today is a pair of faux leather trousers. These ones are more towards the straighter leg. I kind of think they look a little bit more like a wide leg. We'll see when I put them on. However, they're quite long. Also, they are actually from Nasty Gal. It says Nasty Gal on the tag in here. So we'll see, we'll see. Again, size 22. Plain and simple jeans style of a pair of trousers. But what I love most about them is there's not a lot of noise to them. I'm hoping when you're walking that they won't make too much of a swooshing sound because that's the key for me, that they don't make the swooshing sound. On the inside, they do have near like a fleece material, but they're very soft and very fluffy. 
100% polyester and there is a little bit of stretch to them. I really love them. They are a little bit on the shiny side. More so on camera actually than I think they are in real life. But let's jump into them and we'll see if they fit. These trousers are lovely. I really, really like them. However, they are just too big for me, unfortunately. As I said earlier on, they are from Nasty Gals. So they're not Boohoo's brand themselves. I do have a little bit of extra space in the waistband, but it's more so down here below and on the back side. I have so much fabric in these. I would say these ones would be more of a 22 slash 24. So maybe these are for you, especially if you are on the tall side, because as you can tell, they are tons too long for me. I really do like them, however, because let me just lift them off the floor a little bit. Listen. There's not a lot of noise in these. And I love that. Obviously, when I let them hang, then you have everything flapping down below. So hence why I lifted them up. But they are not noisy and they are so soft and they are so stretchy. If, like me, you love yourself a pair of faux leather trousers here for the autumn time, I'm really looking for a pair desperately because I really want them in my autumn winter capsule wardrobe. But maybe these ones are for you. The quality is amazing. I really love them. Just sadly, they're too big for me. I think five pieces for £100 is very, very reasonable, even if you took away the fact that I actually found a discount code. So if you took that aspect out of it and said four pieces for the £100, I still think that is very, very reasonable for the quality that I got delivered today. The trousers here and the dress and the top, absolutely top-notch quality. The suit, it's not bad quality at all. I don't want you to think that. It's just not a really thick, high-end amazing suit. It's good quality for the money that you pay for it and I love that. Per usual, I will link everything in the description box for you so if any of these pieces speaks to you, do go and check them out. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!